Hello my friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and I do all things skincare, beauty and lifestyle. If today is your first time seeing this face, please make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up because you're going to learn a lot. And if you're a notification fan, thank you so much for coming back to watch. Alright guys, so today I've decided that I want to hook you guys on a 25,730 Naira 125 ml face cream. I know, I'm sure you're wondering, Enela, what are you talking about? Don't worry, don't bite me. Make sure you watch this video today. Today, guys, I'm going to be debunking and I'm going to be overloading and just talking to you guys about face creams, sunburn, and I'll also be reviewing four major face creams, moisturizers in particular for you guys to choose from. You're going to whether tell me whether it's a hit or it's a miss. So it's going to be either a hit or pass. Pass, I'm going to jump right into it. So the very first thing I want to talk about today is organic face creams and sunburn. Now this has become something really, really alarming and I just feel like I want to spend the first few minutes of this video talking about it. Now the reason why my skincare brand, for example, we don't make face creams is because we do not have the um, equipment to be able to test, purify, and then make sure that these products are approved by the um, NAFDAQ organization here in nigeria now also i would highly encourage you guys to not use organic face creams and that's because some of these plant-based materials materials that are powders that are used to formulate these products are not purified do you understand and then sometimes we don't exactly know the kind of country where these plant powders are coming from so sometimes they come in 50 percent pure 60 percent pure 70 percent pure now another thing you need to know is that you don't know the concoction, the formulation that your vendor is following. So how are you going to be able to test and be sure that this thing is going to work for you? You're just buying on trial and error. Now another thing with organic face creams is that they tend to oxidize and change colors easily. And that might just make it a very, very bad situation for you if your skin is extremely sensitive and prone to um, allergies from all these kinds of products so i always discourage people not to get organic face creams in fact go for moisturizers instead because they are better best suited and best formulated for your skin type so just make sure you look for the one that would suit your skin type in today's video that i'm going to be talking about you want to treat your skin with kindness by using products that have been tested approved and of course certified as pure safe and friendly for your skin by the food and drug administration so please this is not to spoil anybody's market but if you're on this channel i would encourage you in order to stop having issues like sunburn issues regarding stuff on your face and all of that please make sure that you stay away from organic face creams now up next let's talk about my first major product face moisturizer that i want to talk about today and that is a dr rachel face moisturizer or vitamin c face cream it retails for 4000 naira conga price conga price 4000 naira and it comes in a 50 gram tube that looks like this key ingredients include hyaluronic acid and then it comes in a gel like watery texture i think that is absolutely lovely in my own opinion i know my sister uses this face cream my mom uses this face cream and i've seen a noticeable difference in the overall complexion and texture of their skin now this is something that i had a huge issue with let's talk about the ingredients under or in the vitamin c face uh, cream that comes from Dr. Rachel. Now, key ingredients include hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Now, another thing that you need to consider when it comes to vitamin C is you want to be sure of the kind of what vitamin C that is actually in your product. Now, it, now in the Dr. Rachel face vitamin C cream, it has sodium ascorbyl phosphate. I would be expecting that they will formulate it with L ascorbic acid, but I'll tell you why they chose sodium ascorbic phosphate. Now, sodium ascorbyl phosphate is a kind of vitamin C ingredient. It does brightening, anti-aging, gets the skin, uh, 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 fixes fine lines and stuff, but it is less potent. So when it comes to the heavy lifting of the cream itself, they use a milder form of vitamin C, which can make it take a while before you start seeing a noticeable and a significant change in your overall complexion, especially if you're expecting a, a form of brightening when you are trying to use this face cream. But if they had used L-ascorbic acid, 
this one is more potent the only side effect is that it would um tend to oxidize so that means that the more you open the face cream and air enters it it can spoil easily so i'm guessing that's why they decided to add and use sodium ascorbyl phosphate as the key vitamin c ingredient in this particular face cream i think every other thing really really checks out the texture is fantastic it works for fine lines i know my mom uses it for spots and stuff and then it also helps with thoughts brightening the overall complexion of the skin so another thing that i want to tell you guys about this particular face cream is that so you might be expecting that it will target the spots on your face please i hate to break it to you it takes a while for you to see a significant difference when it comes to helping it to fade the spots on your face instead it just brightens up the overall complexion of the skin and i'm like okay wouldn't that make your spots more obvious i'll leave you guys to actually decide so in my own opinion i will grade and give the dr Rachel vitamin c um serum uh a grade of say what should we get it now I would grade it about 65% in my own opinion, 65% because you're expecting brightening. But if your skin is getting brighter and the spots are becoming more obvious, does it actually do what it is supposed to do, in my own opinion? So those are my opinions based on the Dr. Rachel Face Vitamin System. I would highly encourage that if your skin is normal, oily combination, you can use this Dr. Rachel Face Serum. And that's because it comes in a gel-like, watery-like texture that absorbs easily into the skin doesn't clog the pores does not irritate the skin does not cause any allergic reaction i absolutely would recommend it for anyone because i have family members who also use it so with any face cream in my own opinion with any face cream i highly encourage that you stack up on what on your sunscreen because this is important especially if you are using a face cream that has um, antioxidants like vitamin c because of course, it's going to predispose your skin more to the sun. But if you're topping up with sunscreen, you're going to see quicker results, faster results, and long-lasting results also. Now, that brings me to the next um, product that I want to talk about today under face creams and face moisturizers. I like to use the word face moisturizers instead of face creams because I feel like face cream has been bastardized by organic formulators. Anyways, the next face moisturizer I'd like to talk about is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Cream cream i chose cream now for my dry skin queens now if your skin is extremely dry to dry and also sensitive this is a very beautiful face cream face moisturizer for you now it comes in a tube like texture sorry formula that looks like this i think it's about 355 ml if you are getting the bottle i think this one is about 350 gram i'm not sure now but the price on conga is 10 thousand naira and i'll tell you why it includes three essential ceramides hyaluric acid vitamin e and a lot of products that are actually good for repairing the skin barrier fixing issues like um distorted skin barrier your skin barrier your skin has been feeling tight peppery highly sensitized the cerave moisturizing face moisturizer or cream in this opinion now is the one to go for so maybe the price might chase you off a bit but trust me for a whole 350 ml tube or cream or bottle i think it is more than sufficient do you understand it is more than sufficient so expect your skin barrier to be really really fixed to be beautiful expect your skin to um, actually readily receive this product it does not include a lot of fragrance and curative products or ingredients i absolutely love that it includes just three essential ceramides and hyaluric acid that makes it a very good face cream in my own opinion but this particular one this brand does not um the CeraVe moisturizing uh, uh face moisturizer does not include brightening antioxidants so if you want brightening go and shop for it in terms of your serums and stuff but i would highly encourage that if your skin is dry this is the way to uh, please i do not do that when it comes to skincare i'm not an esthetician or a skin therapist that encourages that kind of skin practice so please if you are booking me for your consultation service do not expect or have the opinion that or assumption that i'm going to help your skin to be brighter to be fairer or to be lighter that is you asking me to recommend products that have actives that are going to lighten your skin in uh, 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 in a routine that i don't really know next face yes. cream or moisturizer that i would like to talk about is this kills ultra moisturizing face cream 
that is $62. 62 guineas, $62. I converted it as a sharp girl that I am. And this face cream is 25,730 Naira. This is so expensive. And I'll tell you why. Trust me, it is worth every penny. Now, I researched it and it turns out that this is the face moisturizer that Kim Kardashian's makeup artist Ariel uses on her skin before makeup. And I'm like, okay, this is absolutely incredible. Kim uses this moisturizer. I need to know what is inside it. All right, guys. So it comes in a gel-like, watery-like textured formula plus. It comes uh, um, and it also includes what? Key ingredients like glycerin, squalene, glaze, uh, um, um, what's the word now? Glacier glycoprotein. Glacier gly glycoprotein from the Antarctic sea glaciers. I know I almost beat my tongue while saying that and that's because they formulated it to give intense moisture up to 24 hours hydration and moisture for the skin honestly I've never tried it before but I just wanted to include it in this list because it's on Amazon so for my queens out there that are always saying in your life you never review products that are on Amazon this product is on Amazon so if you have $62 Please make sure you actually check it out. It's great for sensitive skin. If your skin is dry, normal, oily combination. Why? Because of its lotion formula. I told you guys that if your skin is excessively dry, you need a cream. I reviewed the CeraVe moisturizing cream for you guys. But if your skin is normal, oily combination, you need what? A, a gel-like, watery-like textured formula that comes in a lotion. Why? Because it will absorb more. It won't clog your pores. And it will, help, it will not help your skin. Your skin will not be producing in a, a lot. Your skin will not be producing excess oils. Do you understand? And this fits perfectly into what we use for face moisturizers because it's not like we want our skin to be secreting a lot of oils. We just want enough moisture on our face all day. Repair the skin barrier. They call it ultra facial moisturizing um cream. And I. I I can just like look at the ingredients squalene glycerin in one particular product this product is going to be excessively moisturizing i checked out the reviews on tiktok everybody has superb things to say about it that it is excessively and intensely moisturizing and i cannot wait to try it even for the fact that it is 62 dollars okay i cannot wait. i cannot wait to try it out so i would highly recommend this for you if your skin is sensitive normal oily combination if you're also dry this would actually work for you so in terms of grade i'll give this particular product 85 percent 85 percent let me know in the comment section if you have tried it before and that's because based on what we review products by ingredient list skin type how absorbing it is texture it passes check 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 it does check 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 oh, in that all brings those. me to the last product that i want to talk about and that is the simple hydrating light moisturizer i absolutely love this moisturizer this is the one i've been using lately it is hydrating does not clog the pores it includes what glycerin vitamin b5 and what borage oil which makes it a very good um facial moisturizer that i absolutely love i've used it now i have one in my wardrobe currently right now that i've been using on a daily basis it's lightweight it absorbs easily and i like that it just gives the skin this blanket soft finish on the skin it is absolutely lovely if your skin is normal to combination i would advise you to try this but if your skin is dry and oily this particular moisturizer is not going to work for you because if your skin is excessively oily because it's a bit um thick in terms of formulation it might clog your pores and if your skin is very very dry it might not really help your skin to hold a lot of moisture but other than that the simple hydrating light moisturizer is um what's the ml now 125 ml and it is 3500 naira incredibly affordable i absolutely love it i've been using it for a few weeks now and i do not regret it i love that it just absorbs quickly into the skin it also helps to fix what skin barrier issues help your skin to hold enough moisture and hydration throughout the day so in terms of grade i'll give this particular moisturizer a whooping 80 percent let me know in the comment section if you've tried the simple hydrating light moisturizer 
before all right guys so we've come to, to to the end of today's video let me know what you think in the comment section about all the products that i reviewed let me know if you've tried them if you love them which one is hit which one is definitely pass and i'll talk to you guys in the very next one bye guys